Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Mitchell, principal here at Gravit High School. We are so excited to have you back on campus. We've missed you and we're excited to get the year started. So let's spend some time now learning about what school's gonna be like here at GHS. So behind me are our student entry doors. These doors will not unlock before 7.30. Historically, we've allowed some of you all who arrived before 7.30 in the building. This year, we are not able to do that. At 7.45, you will be encouraged to go down the hall to your first hour class. At 7.50, the first bell will ring, and at 7.55, the tardy bell will ring. So for all my drivers, you have to be here in class by 7.55 this year, not 8 o'clock. As far as masks go, first of all, everybody's gonna get these awesome lanyards with a hook, so you can put your mask on your hook. It's around your neck. When you have it on, you can leave it hooked up and you don't lose your mask. You don't have to worry about sticking it in a pocket or in a backpack, you've got it around your neck. So masks, what are the rules for masks at the high school? Well, let's go over those right now. Anytime you are in the hallway with other students present, you need to have your mask on to protect yourself and those around you. For those who arrive by bus, you will have your mask on once you get on the bus and it will remain on your drive to school. Once you arrive at school, if you can maintain six feet of physical distance between you and your classmates, go ahead and take your mask off and get some fresh air as you walk up the sidewalk toward the building. Once you get to the doors and enter the building, go ahead and put those masks on. For our drivers, you don't have to put your mask on until you either come in the hall or if you're walking closer than six foot to somebody as you come up the sidewalk. Another thing to think about when you're driving to school is parking. We have the new arena almost done. I think you probably hear the beeping behind us right now. But with the new arena is a parking lot. No student should be parked in the arena parking lot. You will continue to park in the main student lot that we have used in previous years. So once you come into a classroom from the hallway, you should have your mask on. Depending on what the procedures are that have been put in place by your teacher, you may or may not be able to remove your mask. I'm able to physical distance from everybody in this room by six foot or more so I can take my mask off. Now teachers have set classrooms up and we have spread desks out and tables out as far as we can. Depending on the number of students in your room, you may be asked to leave empty seats or empty rows between you and your closest neighbor. The reason we're doing that is so that we can have more time mask free for you here at the high school. One thing that's going to be a little different this year is the system we use for hall passes. This year we are going to use a QR code that you will scan either with a smartphone camera, it's really easy, or with your Chromebook. Once you scan the hall pass, a Google form will come up asking you where you're going. You select the location you're going, hit submit. When you do this, make sure you are signed into your device with your school email account. The reason we're asking you to do it this way is we don't want to share pens and paper doing a sign out sheet and we don't want to share the old style hall pass lanyard that we had. So when you walk into a classroom, please stop and use the hand sanitizer. We have installed one of these in every classroom and our custodial staff will make sure that we have plenty of supply and plenty of hand sanitizer available. So when you're in the hallway, we encourage you to travel in as single of a lane of traffic as you can, kind of like when you're on the highway. Whichever way you're going, be on the right side. Another thing, this year we're not automatically assigning lockers. Most of you don't use them, so if you need one, please go see Miss Denise in the office and she will assign you a locker. When she's assigning these, we will make sure we leave space between you and your neighbor so that you can maintain physical distance while in your locker between classes. The water fountains will not be on at this time. However, we do have the bottle filling stations that you can use to fill your own water bottle while you're in the hallway between classes or on your way to lunch. In order to cut down on congestion in the main academic hallway, we're going to open the exterior doors so that you can travel between classes outside. 
The area that I'm referring to is the courtyard that you sometimes see walking to the field or when you're out here for lunch. Maintaining six foot of physical distance will also allow you an opportunity to have a brief mask break as you walk to class. One thing that's going to be a lot different this year is how we do breakfast. We won't be serving breakfast before school. Most of you eat during second chance breakfast, so that's the breakfast we will be focusing on. When you're in your first hour class, you're going to order breakfast through a Google form and the cafeteria staff is actually going to deliver meals to your first hour class. When you leave class, you'll pick up your meal and take it with you to your second hour class. Monday through Thursday, we have a 10 minute period between first and second hour, which will allow you time to eat once you get to your second hour class. On Fridays, due to our early out, there is only a five minute time period, but your second period teachers will allow you plenty of time to eat your breakfast. Just make sure you pick up your trash, and if you make a mess, clean up after yourselves. So one of the main things we wanted to be the same this year for you all was the opportunity to eat lunch in the Commons. In order to do that, we have created four lunch periods. If you're not in lunch, you're going to be in advisory. So the 30 minute period we had between first and second hour last year is now paired with your lunch. When you come into the cafeteria, you'll see a QR code and numbers on the tables. If you have an odd lunch, which we're calling A and C, so first lunch during fourth hour and first lunch during fifth hour, you all will sit at odd tables. Your colors are orange, so if you can't remember what's an odd or an even number, just remember, odd is orange, even is black. You will sit four to a table. Please do not add chairs to tables. By doing so, you can have your mask off while you're eating and not have to worry about how close your neighbor is. You'll also see that the cafeteria has been set up where tables are spaced out, and not only will you have an empty table beside you, but also one behind you. Again, just another way to keep you safe while you have your mask off and you're eating. We have a hand sanitizer available, so you'll need to stop, pump that before entering the serving area to get your meal. When you're in the hallway headed to lunch, please leave your mask on. You will need to leave your mask on while you go through the serving area. One thing that's really different this year, you won't be able to pick up and kind of select your vegetables and fruits. The cafeteria staff will have those already dished out and ready for you. And they will put those on your tray and then you will go to your table. Once you're at your table, you can take your mask off and you can leave it off while you're eating. We ask that once you're through eating and you're just visiting with friends that you go ahead and put your masks back on. As long as you're eating or drinking, it can stay off. So one of the best things about high school is all the opportunities you have to get involved with extracurricular activities. Just this week, our band kids are on campus practicing. Our athletes started play this week. Um, we get new guidelines every day and sometimes they change a little, sometimes they change a lot. Right now, we don't know what the CTE clubs look like as far as district and state competitions. Once those guidelines are released, your club sponsors will be releasing those to you. One thing we do know is what we have to do to keep sports going this fall. You have to wear a mask. Anytime you show up for a ball game, whether it be in the gymnasium or outside, the guidelines set forth by the Department of Ed and the Department of Health is that all spectators must wear a mask and maintain six foot of physical distance. If you're sitting with your family, you can sit together. You live with them, there's no risk of exposure. But if you're with a friend, you have to maintain six foot of physical distance. For our teams, please mask up. They've started their season. We want them to be able to finish their season. So just do this for us and we'll have a great year. So one of the things we haven't had an opportunity to talk about is how we're cleaning. So every night we have a custodial staff that will come in and fog our rooms. They're also going to be disinfecting desktops and cafeteria tables. After they disinfect those, they will sanitize those so that they are safe to eat off of. Between classes, every classroom has a bottle of 
the disinfectant that can be sprayed or that will be sprayed on the desks and wiped off so that you don't have to worry about what kind of situation you're walking to every time you change classes. The district has hired an additional custodial team to come in. Our building will have one additional person besides Ms. Sherry and their job during the day is to wipe down high traffic areas. So doorknobs, they'll be wiping those throughout the day. So don't worry about what you're touching, but remember washing your hands and using hand sanitizer is still your priority and what you should remember to do as often as possible. I hope this video has answered some of the questions you have, like what's school going to look like? What are we doing to keep safe? I can promise you that we have spent hours thinking about the best way to bring you back to campus. We want to stay on campus this fall. We've missed you. It's been a long time since March. It's a learning experience for all of us. There's a lot of new rules and a lot of new procedures. Know that every one of your teachers is here for you. Your counselors are here for you. Nurse Middleton is here for you. And if sometimes it's just too much, um, Ms. Sharp has set up mask-free zones in the library so that you can scan your QR code, go to the library, and take a five or 10 minute mask break just to kind of get away from everything. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to either reach out to me directly or one of your classroom teachers. Um, if they don't have the answer, they know where to come to find that answer. You can stop us in the hallways, you can email. Parents, please do not hesitate to call the office or to email me directly or Mr. Jones. Um, we are so excited to have you back and it's gonna be a great year.